I feel betrayed <laughs> because a lot of people supposed to be his friend turn their backs on me. For Hope Creighton, the emotional pain of losing a child to gun violence two years ago hasn't gotten any easier. Memphis police say her son, 18-year-old Deontay Thompson, was shot at the corner of Pershing and Binghampton March 5, 2020, around 7 p.m. The images and emotional scars from that day are forever etched in her memory. Creighton says Deontay was walking down the street with a friend, talking on the phone when someone suddenly started shooting. He was on a video call, uh, FaceTiming with um, a female, and um, all of a sudden shots was fired. The person he was walking with was shot first, and then Deontay was shot next. Moments later, the phone kept ringing. Deontay was calling. My husband said, Deontay's calling. And um, I was like, I told him to answer the phone. When we answered the phone, we didn't hear anything. So I'm thinking that it was just a pocket dial. But it wasn't. Creighton now knows it was Deontay calling for help. Less than 10 minutes later, Creighton's neighbors were at her front door. We had a knock at the door um, from two neighbors saying that uh, uh, Deontay has been shot at the corner of Bingham and Persian, and he's laying down in the ground. Creighton and her husband rushed to the scene, only to find her son on the ground with a gunshot wound to his body and fighting for his life. They started CPR until the ambulance arrived. Well, his eyes was opening and closing, but he wasn't saying anything. Paramedics rushed both victims to the hospital. Creighton and her husband arrived moments later. My husband and I was um, shown to a room. We waited, and um, a, a nurse, if I'm not mistaken, along with a detective, told us that they, he did not make it. Creighton says neighbors told her that Deontay was still trying to get home, even after he was shot. He was, uh, he was trying to get home. He was crawling to us, the neighbors. Some of the neighbors had told us that he was crawling, trying to get home. A lot of people that was around him when he first fell know more than what they said, and some are even involved, and they know who did it. Memphis police say suspects got away in a gray four-door sedan. If you know who killed Deontay Thompson, you're urged to call Crime Stoppers at 528-CASH. Your tip could help put a dangerous criminal behind bars and $2,000 cash in your pocket. Remember, all calls are confidential. April Thompson, News Channel 3, Manhunt Monday. Looking for justice for Deontay and Ms. Creighton. If you do have a story that you would like for us to profile on Manhunt Monday, just send us an email at manhuntmonday at wreg.com.